It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA Unscripted. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, social media platforms help keep us connected. And during the pandemic, studies show screen time has skyrocketed 72%. So what's your go-to scroll? Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon, and lately I am obsessed with TikTok, like legit obsessed, though I do still love the gram. And not too long ago, I double tapped on a Chrissy Teigen upload of a tiny replica of the model made of food. So I had to dare the artist to make me into a mini. I'm a graphic designer turned food stylist, and I take fruits, vegetables, anything edible, and plate high fashion looks on celebrity faces. Hi, my name is Ruby Perman, and I'm a food stylist from Dana Point, California. I am absolutely in love with your creations. How in the world did you get the idea to start doing this? During um, the pandemic, when it all started, I was looking for a creative outlet. So I took a photo of myself, I put it on a plate, and I made myself this mango dress. And the whole process was so satisfying and therapeutic. Then I started a TikTok account and my first post on there was with Jennifer Lawrence. So the whole dress is made of a whole pomegranate. So the top was the peel and then the dress was the all pomegranate seeds. And I even gave her a pomegranate hat. So when I posted that on TikTok, my first post went viral. One of my favorite things to do is to watch celebrities on the red carpet. And I just miss watching, you know, them on the Grammys and then the Met Gala and the Academy Awards. I'm just, you know, so obsessed with their big gowns. And so that's one of my inspirations is just watching to see what the celebrities are wearing and then recreating some of their gowns. Like I recreated Ariana Grande's um, dress that she wore for um, one of her award shows. One of the reasons why I think people resonate with what I'm doing is because food just really brings people together. And you know, us not being able to share a meal with family or go out to dinner with friends, ha not having um, to be able to you know, watch the award shows and fashion. I know Chrissy Teigen saw hers and she reposted it. I'm just such a big fan of hers. And uh, you know, and I just, I made her dress out of dumplings. Laura Dern actually reposted her chips and salsa dress. Celine Dion um, messaged me to see if she could share her Celine Dijon dress. If somebody wanted to order one of these, could they do that? Yes, of course I do. I've done a lot of custom um, art pieces, custom food styling. Um, so yeah, just message me, email me, you know, we can uh, talk about it, your favorite food. My art can also be, you know, printed on a plate or canvases and stuff like that. So I've done that before for people. Dana, I have a special surprise for you. For me? She said what you know about us. Candy! <laughs> oh my God! And I love those candies. I can't believe that I get to be one of your creations. This is like an honor. We about to get it when we finally get back on the red carpet, you've actually inspired me. I'm wondering if we can actually make a dress out of candy, a real dress. I'll come and help you do it. She was so sweet and I would love that dress in real life made out of candy. Okay, from candy to cannabis, now in this LA Revealed, a local pot shop offers curbside pickup. Today's pandemic is changing how patrons pick up pot. Being an essential business, we didn't know what to expect, but we prepared for it. We've enacted a lot of safeguards and precautions. From gloved bud tenders to masked security guards. We want our community to take all precautions to stay safe and healthy, 
we do realize that not everyone is taking these necessary precautions, so we're essentially trying to do it for them. We're trying to provide them a safe service to keep them safe and to keep us safe. New dispensary rules and regulations now legally permit weed shops like WHTC and Studio City to function like a fast food drive through When it comes to the curbside, we're social distancing, we're wearing gloves, we're masked, we're taking everything into account, we're constantly washing our hands, taking hygiene to the next level, uh, and as well as our delivery drivers, the way they handle cash, the way they interact with customers. Uh, this has been a new challenge. Owner Alan B. suggests curbside cannabis or home delivery are the safest options to get your goods. Part of keeping our staff safe is for our medical patients who do need cannabis. We need to keep them safe in the transaction itself. And hopes other local mom and pops will soon be flying high. If you're planning a visit to WHTC, we highly recommend you visit our website, www.whtcla.com, to be able to place a pickup or delivery order. This will really expedite the process for everyone and make it a lot easier. WHTCLA also accepts online orders plus deliveries right to your door. And we are delivering more All Things LA. Coming up, LA Unscripted pulling some strings at Bob Baker's Marionette Theater, plus how portable sinks can save lives. And why am I wigging out? Stay with us, we have so much more. Back to LA Unscripted, the show that keeps us safely connected and offers up local ideas for when California reopens. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon and we are all about rediscovering iconic LA locations like the beloved Bob Baker Marionette Theater. Now our Olivia de Bortoli becomes a puppet master. Bob Baker Marionette Theater is uh the longest and largest running uh, marionette theater in the country. We've been around um, since Bob Baker, our founder, was six years old, all the way back in like 1930. He saw a puppet show when he was six and then spent the rest of his life creating what is the Bob Baker Marionette Theater. It's about 2,000 puppets. We have uh, a dozen like, hour-long musical variety marionette shows. We cater to kids of all ages is what we say. It's a place of joy. such a rich history. Tell me about kind of the history of the theater and how it came about. Started a puppet theater in his garage, eventually uh, moved to downtown Los Angeles and had a huge puppet theater there. And as well as puppets, it's also fabrication and making toys that we would sell through department stores throughout the country. Um, it's making like window displays for Disneyland. So if you know Main Street, the main uh, thoroughfare of Disneyland, Bob made all his window, window displays, it's puppets for movies. And then yeah, about, about two years ago, or right, really right before the pandemic kind of hit, we moved to a new location in Highland Park, uh, which we love, it's an old silent movie theater. And we just did a big opening um, and then a uh, pandemic hit. Speaking of, of a pandemic, a, a Zoom puppet show sounds like the coolest thing ever and sounds so cute. Tell me about that. It's a wonderful way to kind of um, connect people with puppets and with joy. And, and really, so we do these Zoom puppet shows. You can do it for a birthday party, for a company party, for a field trip. And we do about a half an hour long puppet show and you get to meet the puppets after it. And really get a really in-depth backstage experience. What is it about puppets that is so attractive to people and that, you know, make people so happy? To me, the beauty and charm of, of a puppet is that it can be anything. It's like it is an empowered imagination that goes behind it, that a piece of, piece of cloth can become um, a character or a friend or an enemy or a villain or a hero or whatever it may be. That the sense that you can be transformed into a story, into an emotion by something that's so simple and something that you really can see that isn't real, but it, yet, it, yet it emotionally feels real. That's that's the key to the joy of puppetry. You can make puppets out of anything. Um, a puppeteer really is just a matter of unleashing your imagination to kind of give life to anything. 
my sock and I'm going to try pu puppeteering with the sock. Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to see your show. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. Hello. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Imagine an old Disney cartoon, but live in front of you. Like that's Bob Baker Marinette Theater. It's like song and dance, and it's gags, it's cactuses that spring flowers, it's dogs, it's chickens that lay eggs. It's a whole song and dance kind of review show. Uh, that's what we do. And you know, Bob Baker also offers in-home Zoom birthday celebrations. And now something else to feel good about. The best protection you can take is to wash your hands frequently. We have heard other cries and fears uh, from individuals saying they fear that they can't perform the activities that they're telling us, you know, do from the news. Wash your hands like your life depends on it. So keep your physical distance, keep washing your hands. All of the places are closed. The libraries are closed. You know, the public facilities are closed. Uh, the restaurants are closed. They may not have an address, but they're still our neighbor. It's the first line of defense against COVID-19, but after witnessing the struggle for those on the streets to get to any soap and water, Terrence Lester found a way to bring it to them. I just had the idea to repurpose what was being used for camping and leisure uh, to the service of population of people experience in homes. Portable hand washing stations in parks and on the streets. The simple idea behind love sinks in. It's very safe. We go out and we sanitize these almost every single day and we also refresh them with water. Since launching in Atlanta on March 19th, the Love Sinks In campaign has quickly expanded across the nation. We've expanded to Birmingham, Alabama, uh, Austin, Texas, Columbus, Ohio, uh, we just recently sent sinks to uh, San Bernardino, California, as well as New Orleans. And we have 25 sinks going to New York. But Lester, who's the founder of the nonprofit Love Beyond Walls, an organization dedicated to serving the vulnerable and often forgotten, reminds the flow of aid should continue even beyond the pandemic. Hand washing and the access to sanitation is something that is a basic human right and that it should extend far beyond COVID-19. Service is not an event, it's a lifestyle. And this moment is teaching us that we all matter and that we need to be together, to stick together. So inspiring. Well, let us know who is your angel in LA. And coming up, say bye-bye to bad hair days, please. Why wigs are the way to go, plus a recipe you must make in your California kitchen. LA Unscripted, a pinch of local fun with a splash of personality. Parton, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Rihanna. Today, wigs are no longer a top secret. Plus, they've become very popular during the pandemic. Now, I get a chance to wig out. You see the Kardashians, even J-Lo is wearing them, and we see Beyonce. Yes, people come in all the time with photos trying to make that look their own in finding a new hairstyle, whether it's for a day or for every day. Tell me all the different things that you have here at the wig shop. We have a wide variety of wigs from every day to fashion to costume. We have hair extensions. You name it, we really have it all. LA Unscripted, we're wigging out. Wow! I gotta say, I'm kind of feeling myself in this one. We want high pony Ariana Grande. Ah! Oh, I am mermaid. Wigs have become so much more of a common, accepted hairstyle. 
and they're for everyone. I was thinking like maybe me, but drama. So this is a wig cap. Oh my God, I, I feel so Kardashian in this right now. What if I wanted more of a banged kind of look? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like Pulp Fiction, remember that? So many people don't have access to, to maybe their hair salon, their hair colorist right now. You know, a wig is a great way to refresh your look without having to make it into the salon while we're going through this pandemic. I've always wanted to try a hot pink wig. Oh my God. And it gets better. Uh-uh. Stop it right now. No! <laughs> yes! Wearing a wig is a great way to dress up for Halloween, especially for a Zoom call. We are accepting appointments only right now. That way we can set the time aside to try on wigs and give that really one-on-one -on -one service and maintain social distancing. I love wigs. I love that hot pink one. It had these little clip-on buns. It was so cute. And you know, stylists say they really help switch up your look while keeping your own hair healthy. And you know what else is healthy? Jessica Holmes in the kitchen. All the rage lately are those places that are like the poke bowl and you go for lunch and you get the rice and all the fixings. So I'm gonna make one at home and instead of fish, I'm gonna do a garlic beef bowl instead. And it's super easy to throw together. Uh, I'm taking a shallot, cut shallots into little rings and I'm gonna make crispy fried onions as a topping on our bowl. We have this beautiful ribeye, one pound, I'm gonna cut it almost like you're doing a stir fry. Ooh, our shallots are all nice and crispy, so I'm gonna just put them on a paper towel to drain. Now, to our beef, I'm gonna do some butter for our steak. This steak's gonna cook really quickly. I'm gonna add ginger and garlic. Okay, our butter is nice and hot. I'm gonna throw our pieces of steak in that I've cut into large bite size slices, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, but not too much because I am gonna put some soy sauce. Just a little bit of salt. And then as that cooks, I'm gonna put a big fat clove of garlic. I'm gonna grate some ginger. You don't wanna burn your garlic, so just watch that. Okay. Got some nice browning. These are almost done. You don't want to cook them too much. Beautiful! Okay, our beef is cooked. This is such a quick dish. I have my leftover rice. We'll fill our bowl. What I'm gonna do is take shredded carrots, put those down, then we'll put our steak. And gotta get a spoon to get some of the sauce. Okay, then, some edamame, a little drizzle of soy sauce on top of our beef. We're going to do a little bit of sesame oil. Some avocado, and we'll put a few slices. I take my, these are my little Persian cucumber pickles, and I put them in seasoned rice wine vinegar, and they create this tangy, luscious little pickle. And I'm gonna put those on top. A little drizzle of sriracha on top, and then, my crunchy onions crunch, need some crunch. Little bit of toasted sesame seeds. I always have these in my fridge and voila. Mmm, it hits every note. Try it. This shoe makes a statement. Wherever you go, it wants you to leave your mark, literally. Judging by the limited selection in my closet, it's probably about time I up my shoe game. That's why I headed to Simi Valley. 
to get the deets on a hot new footwear brand I've been hearing a lot about lately. I love fashion, I love uh, fitness. I'm a centurion in the gym, let's make a boot that looks like a centurion, but he can also rock it in the streets. And that's where this came from. It's called Legend, and it's footwear with a mantra. Just leave your mark. It's our statement, it's why we're here. You have a voice. Describe what goes into this. Much love, man, honestly. Patrick Dancy is the man behind the vision. And as you can look, it has some aesthetic appeal to it. It's not your typical boot. You know, I wanted it to flow. I mean, this is the lightest boot I think I've ever felt. Yeah, and that's premium leathers. I wanted something that was really comfortable on the heel, but also allowed you to grip, move lightly, and, and feel it. You feel great in those shoes. So these boots are for someone on the everyday go? Absolutely. And you know, you can wear it with almost anything. So when you put the shoe on, you're gonna rock it how you rock it. The shoe he's putting me in today. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is the Leo. This is where we hold them. Inspired by the big screen. I thought of Leonidas from that movie 300. And all those men yeah. looked amazing. And that was my goal as well. Leave your mark, bro. You look good. Look at his grin. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Legend is strictly e-commerce at this point, and it's not just boots. They have great matching necklaces, bracelets, and accessories. For the deets, just head to legendfootwear.com. That's L-G-N-D. Back to you. I love that you took a half an hour break with us. So come on back tomorrow. We'll be right here, same channel, same place, same time, part 